Hey guys, Chicken Buddy Studios here today with another review, review number eight, Netflix Siege Chromia. I do have the box for her, I'm not gonna pull that out right now because I don't feel like that, but I will get into the review, which overall I think is a really nice figure. I mean, I'll have some complaints in the car mode, but other than that, she's amazing. I really like this figure, I'm glad I got her. Her head could have more movement, but mm, I guess we got we, we get what we get, you know. This piece, I have a problem with this piece, so I glued it on because it keeps popping off easily. It kept popping off easily like the first few days. Anyway, her gun has, isn't. We'll just let her be there for a second. It's in four different pieces. It just clicks together easily. Put that to the side. You can do it however way you want. Anyway, let's get on to articulation. She can move her hands in, do the transformation. 90 degrees there. 360 up. Another three, well, kind of 360. You can go out and then you can finish that. Her head, you have, she can move. When she looks down, she has a little bit of movement. When she looks up a little bit more, she can go 360. When she can look up that much and down that much. She can move that way. She can do the splits. Again, this is on a ball joint, so lots of things to do here. This is a, she's 360 right there. The knee kind of gets moved by this, so you have to move this down a little bit and then you get more off of her, but yeah, right there you get a lot, and then you get ankle tilt, which I think is a nice addition for her. Anyway, let's bring in some size comparisons, which we have Siege Optimus Prime, 35th anniversary, and Combiner Wars, um, Dust up. Yeah, dust up. Sorry, I forgot her name for a second. I honestly think she scales really well, and looking at my camera, he looks pretty cool. He's my next review. <laughs> anyway, let's get these guys out of here. Now, for the transformation, I'm going to grab the gun, take these two pieces off. And you can do whatever you want with this for the transformation. You can have it up there where it was, or you can have this attached right there. Which for transformation, I usually do this. So let's put that down. You can't see it, but they're there. For, so for this, you wanna flip her head around and then flip it back. Then you're gonna wanna open this like this, slide this down. Take this piece out, flip it out, snap that into place, flip her head over like that, and then it'll just sit in there like that. And then you can see this, which we'll get into later. So you fold these up, gotta make sure they're at a good bend, because if not, they don't fit. Fold this all the way around. I, I sometimes connect her feet right there. It doesn't always help though. So then you just like pit this overward, over, snap it through. There's pe pegs and holes in there, and more pegs and holes, and then you just like snap it in. Twist this around. Flip her arms back like this. Flip this up. Peg it in again. I'll get into more what I don't like about that part in a minute. So same on the other side. And then you want to grab this gun, put it right there if you want. You don't have to put it there. And then grab these pieces and peg them in right there. Like that. And now we're done. I really like this figure in her car mode. I mean, only complaint is there's a lot showing right there. I, I could, don't really like that. She rolls really well. I guess. 
but the only other only really complaint I have on this is this it it's supposed to peg in it doesn't kind of does on this side but not on this side it kind of it doesn't really do much but yeah I'm not gonna bring any size comparisons in for this but I will bring in um, I'll just bring in I don't even know I'll just bring in this Lego car because why not some of you might have it. There you go. Let's get this out of there. You know what? I'll bring in one, but... I think this is guy's name is Afterburner. I completely forget. He's not a lot. Which I really do like about it. I, um, custom this guy. Silvered him in a lot. He'll be in a later review. But yeah. I don't really have much complaints about this figure other than the one thing I already went over. But yeah. That's all for Siege Chromia. The Netflix Siege Chromia. I wish I got the original, but I didn't actually want that one. This one looked cooler and has a piece of Teletran, which I did not know. I'm not going to be collecting any more Netflix ones unless I feel like it. But yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. Goodbye.